Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2018 and we are doing this problem 45 of the section C. So this problem is from differential calculus. Also you can say that it is from real analysis. Let us have a look. Let fxy is equal to this thing is a function now what question is asking you is the partial differentiation so partial derivative of f with respect to x and partial derivative of y f with respect to y at 1 comma 1 now the most important thing that you have to notice in this problem is this that the given function f is very difficult to partial differentiation all right so it is very different uh, difficult for the partial differentiation if you want to differentiate it partially with respect to x or y you will get a huge calculation so why so, um, examiner is asking this type of question if it is very long that means you don't have to differentiate it partially directly what we have to use we have to use some other tricks so I will show you something by which you can solve this problem. It is a very important and fundamental results from differential calculus. So I will show you that result and using that result, I will be doing this question. All right. So just see that note. So have a look on this, uh, these two things that I have written for you. First theorem is, uh, it is called Euler theorem for homogeneous functions. What it tells us that if f is a homogeneous function of degree n, then this thing holds. So second one tells us that what is the definition of homogeneous functions. So we, we are calling a, a, a two variable function, a homogeneous function, if on putting lambda x and lambda y in place of x and y we got this so this is the definition so firstly what i will do the function that we are given with i will show you that on putting lambda x and lambda y in place of x and y we will get this thing that we have written so let us see so lambda x if you will put what you will get under root of c lambda cube x cube lambda y this is what we will get sine of pi by 2 e to the power c we have y by x so we will get lambda x by lambda y sorry lambda y by lambda x so lambda y by lambda x minus 1 plus lambda x lambda y cos pi by 3 e to the power lambda x by lambda y minus 1 so this is what we are getting so see that you can take lambda to the power 4 outside of this under root so if you will take it outside you will get lambda square then you will get x cube y sine of pi by 2 e to the power y by x minus 1 plus lambda square of x y cos pi by 3 e to the power x by y minus 1 now see you can take lambda square outside so what is the remaining function it is f of x y so that finally proves that f is a homogeneous function f is a homogeneous function of degree 2 it finally proves this thing now if f is a homogeneous function according to this definition that we have written Euler theorem we will get x x del f by del x plus y del f by del y is equal to uh, 2 times of f so at 1 1 we are evaluating we have to evaluate everything at 1 1 so at 1 1 what will happen you will get del f see at x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 what is the meaning of at 1 1 it means that x is is equal to y is equal to 1 so finally what will happen according to the uh, according to this thing we will get see if we will place x is equal to 1 we will get del f by del x 
So instead of writing del f by del x, I will write fx plus fy at 1 1. This is what we will get. Now it is equal to twice of f at which point 1 1. Right now because we are doing it generally so it is f of xy but we are evaluating it at 1 comma 1. So that means the question is now totally converted to find out this. So if you somehow find out 2 of f11, you are done with this problem. So C, let us find out. f of 11 we have to find out. So C, from here we will get under root of 1. Now we will get sine pi by 2. Now C, e to the power y by x will be 1 minus 1. So it will be 0, e to the power 0 is 1. So see how simple is this question now cos of pi by 3. So what is uh, sine pi by 2? It is 1. What is cos pi by 3? It is 1 by 2. So what we are getting? It, we are getting 3 by 2. What you have to do? 2 times of f11. Now 2 into 3 by 2 will be uh, just 3. So this is 3. So answer for this problem will be 3. If you have any doubt, you can always ask in the comment section. If you have any other doubt, you can join our WhatsApp and Telegram groups. Links are given in the description part of the video. Alright, so thank you.